Hey, I wanted to make this video to extend a little bit of our knowledge of the chromosomes we gained from the first chromosome structure video on this channel. The first video focused on the subunits of the chromosomes, like the small organic molecules such as the uh, amino acids that are the building blocks of proteins. And the proteins are the entities that support the structure of the chromosomes. Uh, however, in this video, we're going to focus on a couple of specific regions on the chromosomes and also talk a little bit about the function that these regions serve. One of the characteristics of the chromosomes is that there are multiple distinct and specific regions that are contained on each of the chromosomes. Each of the regions carries a gene or a set of genes that are important to uh, various functions. Uh, one of the functions, for example, is uh, to provide instructions for making proteins. And these genes are composed of specific sequences of DNA. So I have the chromosomes here. The first location of this chromosome that we're going to examine is this region in yellow. This region is where the two sister chromatids touch and also where the microtubules, also known as the spindle fibers, attach themselves to. It can be easily identified because the whole region appears as if it's being pinched to something. In this case, it's being pinched onto these two sister chromatids. This region is called the central mu. Central mu. Now we know what its name is and where it is located. The question now is what is its purpose? You know, what does it do? Well, this part of the chromosome plays essential roles in equal chromosome segregation during the cell division. It's responsible for the movement of the replicated chromosomes, that is, these two chromatids, into the two daughter cells during mitosis and meiosis. The central mirror has two major functions. One is joining the sister chromatids. These two sister chromatids here must stay joined together until it's time for them to be. Uh, physically pulled into the two future daughter cells. So this ensures that each daughter cell will get exactly one copy of each chromosome. The other major function of the centromere is directing the formation of a special protein structure called kinetochore, where there will be one here on the right chromatid and another one here on the left chromatid. These two proteins will be attached to the microtubules and the microtubules will pull these two sister chromatids apart this way and this way like so into the two future daughter cells. Now let's examine another region of this chromosome. Uh, let's pick these small parts, the tip end parts of this chromosome, um, which was given the name Telomere, telomeres. When our cells grow and divide, our DNA is safely copied and protected by these telomeres. Telomeres represent only about a fraction of our DNA, but they have a huge impact on the behavior of our cells as a biological clock. When we first learned about telomeres and how they operate, uh, the early investigations concluded that as we humans get older, um, our telomeres get shorter. So our understanding was that people who are currently, uh, let's say, 42 years old, will have shorter telomeres compared to people who are younger, like 20-something years old. However, at the current time, the accumulated research has provided strong evidence that it's not the case. Uh, in fact, there are data that show uh, longer telomeres of the same cell type in older people when compared to 
the younger people, which indicates the complexity of how telomeres operate is yet to be understood completely. But right now, our best understanding is there is a mechanism known as capping and uncapping of telomeres. This capping mechanism is kind of like the critical factor which uh, basically controls the functionality of the telomeres uh, in spite of how long or short the telomeres are. Uh, in other words, uh, as long as the capping mechanism operates properly, uh, the short telomeres as well as the longer telomeres will be protected when the cell grows and uh, divides. So what's the implication of the study's result? Uh, the implication is, recall that every region of the chromosomes is composed of a gene or a group of genes. If these telomere regions are getting shorter, and by getting shorter, that means the sequences of DNA is being degraded. And we understand this very well that our genes are made of specific sequences of DNA that carry important functions. The telomeres have the primary role of keeping the chromosomes intact to not be broken down when the cell divides. So when the DNA sequences are degraded or not being kept properly, then uh, we've got a serious problem. 